We just finished kicking off Champs in a Rum Season 2. This right here was a grand final featuring Mighty Unjust Rock and a ridiculous Peacemaker. Check out this crazy Peacemaker gameplay. Let's get into this. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Because I just see Johnny Cage on the screen. What the hell's going on? I, I Hold on. Let me see. Does anybody see if King Gambler even has an opponent he's facing off against right now? I think, I I think it's John on. Cena, but... What's happening? Wait a minute. Is that not John Cena? I don't, dude, I just see Johnny. Okay, wait, it's King Gambler in the chat? I, I assume, I, I assume King Gambler, you wanna just keep going? You didn't want the break? Hey, the dude is on fire. I, I don't understand why he would want a break at this point. I guess not. Okay, there we go. Wait, he's this actually sticking to the Peacemaker for the this end? is it our no. grand finals is underway no. between king gambler and the mighty unjust the gambler has internet. to win two sets brain. of three in order to be crowned our champion of the realms for Yo. season two I, one set I'm to reset the bracket ask, but can you do me the biggest win. favor and refund fat sausages points oh why did somebody try to go for uh, another like back to transformation yeah Nobody uh, redeemed us, uh, the transformations because you might not get refunded. I accidentally forgot to turn them off. I'm, I'm running a lot of the production, so I apologize. Well, I'll give you your transformations the next time we live stream. We're not running a, a finale tournament, I promise. But here we go, grand finals. We got Peacemaker on the stream. This is what everybody wanted to see. Peacemaker. And he's rocking Peacemaker with the striker cameo still, so... Yo, I gotta give it up lot. to Mighty Unjust. He's played like the whole roster tonight. <laughs> what do you mean? He only played Johnny, Raiden, and Kenshi. <laughs> Didn't he play, uh... Oh, if you, yeah, yeah, actually, if you, if you count all the times he played for Okakui, then yes. Wait, what? What? Who was it earlier? Yeah, well, didn't he, against Pulse, didn't he play like... Baraka, Tanya, and like a whole bunch of different characters? Nah, he, you, you bugging. Who was that? It was Fat Sausage. Oh, oh my, my fault. god, here we go. He's gonna get a full combo. Perfect spacing on that forward 4 1. I mean, literally perfect spacing. My god, that was 383 on the money right there. Good defense from the mighty unjust. Just block it. Oh, how, how did that hit him up there? This is tough. I mean, the character was recently nerfed, but man, Peacemaker is a really strong addition to this game, dude. Bro, how did he hit him up there? I have no idea. Go to the forward four. Now you can, you can get your uh, your meter burn shadow kick armored through that eagerly. It's safe on block, but you can get through there if your timing is right. Whenever I play combat league with this character, that is always what leads to my loss when somebody figures out that that forward four, that whole string into Eagly, it's not real. Let me give you the whole uh, Peacemaker experience. Give me the rundown, give me the rundown. Eagly, Eagly, Torpedo, Torpedo, Eagly, Anti-Gravity, Anti-Gravity, right, right. Eagly, Force Field, Force Field, Eagly, Eagly, Torpedo, Torpedo, Anti-Gravity, Anti-Gravity. I'm a stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Into Torpedo, 38%. Down one into Torpedo. Oh, King Gambler had the interruption. He didn't fully commit though, Destroyer. Well, he thought he was gonna get punished by the Striker. Oh, <laughs> no. King Gambler actually had a really smart idea there to go for the parry. But Mighty Unjust just hits the sweep and he goes, Do you really wanna, do you really wanna taste it? So you didn't watch the show. Oh, listen. <laughs> I watched the show. I watched the so show. Watch, so you didn't watch it, huh? You want me to say something that tells you I watched the show? Say it. I know you don't want me to start talking about Peacemaker's father. <laughs> we definitely don't want to start talking about that. <laughs> All right, then. No oh, you, oh, you don't think I saw the show? Oh, you don't think I you don't think I know what the T1000 was up to, huh? Oh, okay. You call the types are all soft. The bullshit on the internet is rotting. Here we go. Game 2 destroyer. 
King Gambler typed in the chat when he saw the Peacemaker pick. He said, GG's, I do not know how to play against Peacemaker. You know, I don't think he's in as bad of a position as he might believe. Oh, that Eagly was not at the ready, Destroyer. He wasn't able to get that down forward four. But this hurts now. This hurts quite a bit. My goodness. 38% off that combo. Nice pickup from the Mighty Unjust. He's a mighty pine baron. If I've ever seen one, let's sweep up the, the area. <laughs> I hope Mr. Alchemist is somewhere out there watching because I, I, I'm, I'm almost 90% sure he's the one that told me this, they used to call him the mighty pine baron. <laughs> nice torpedo there from Mighty Unjust taking the round so mighty unjust asked way earlier in the stream he said is peacemaker allowed and this dude kept his character in the chamber until the grand final he was, saving it for, he was saving it for grand finals that's unreal and what's really tough honestly about peacemaker is he does a lot of damage he's got good pressure but also man he can zone the hell out of your opponent with this guy he got, he's got a good full screen game. A block attempts. He's gonna get punished. Extra damage on the throw. Oh, and there's a the shadow kick. Oh, looking for the overhand. He's gonna neutral duck that 2 2 grab. Gunshots. And gets the throw. Okay, King Gambler still in this. Very much so. Oh, nicely done, King Gambler. Interrupt the anti-gravity attempt. That's going to be plus frames. The standing 2-1 pressure. That's not even... Standing 2-1 is not plus, right? No, I don't think so. No, uh, standing one one is what got nerfed. He, he actually had a, right. he had a couple buttons that got nerfed, but sta standing two one that's not plus. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I think maybe it is. Great pickup here from the mighty adjust. The torpedo. I feel like you could get like a standing bot or sorry standing three or standing four torpedo off that jump two one two. I think you can too. And there we go, the zoning. My goodness, Mighty Unjust now is up 2-0 with the Peacemaker. One game away from taking this entire tournament destroyer. King Gambler has to hit a reverse 3-0 in order to reset the bracket. And then he still needs three more games to take this entire set destroyer. Wow. I'm excited. I'm real excited. You know, we got Peacemaker in the screen right now. Grand Finals. And I wouldn't want it any other way. King Gambler, though, he's got a Mount Olympus to climb here. If he wants to reverse this set and potentially win this tournament to take the 50% of this prize pool, Gambler's going to have to play out of his mind. No, he seriously is. He has got a lock in right here, right now. Gambler taking a beat at the character select screen probably the smartest decision to make at this point considering the fact that this dude mighty unjust is on a freaking roll imagine he goes in the chat and he's like about that break <laughs> <laughs> to be honest though like i do understand why he wanted to just jump right into it because when you think about it like you don't want the break after you just won two games like that. You know, you're you're on that hot streak. You're playing really well. You want to maintain that momentum. And the break could have could have slowed him down a bit, right? Oh, he tried to punish. Right. Oh, not okay. It does not work, though. No, you're right. 37% off that combo. Mighty Unjust tried to catch the sweep. Okay, here we go. King Gambler. Gonna answer back. Get a couple of hits in. 25%. Respectable. Dashing around. Gets anti-air. This hurts. Again, he totally can get like a standing three torpedo. I don't want to give him any ideas. If he wants to, if he, if he doesn't want to dish out too much damage, that's you know, that's his prerogative. Yeah, that's his pierogi. That's his pierogi. 
It's tournament point now for the mighty unjust destroyer. Into the throw. Too slow. Good throw. Too slow. Oh, and Striker with the assistance. No press button, says Mighty Unjust. Delivering the pain. Yo, this is match point for the Mighty Unjust right now. He's got Force Field up. There's not, honestly. Warfield does nothing in this match. Oh, Goro, no. you know, Goro oh but physical. Eagle wasn't ready. King Gambler is safe. And that wow. is that. Mighty Unjust takes the tournament. He is your champion wow. of the realm with Peacemaker. Wow, wow, Wubsy. Season two finale champion. The Mighty Unjust closing it out with Peacemaker Caboose. Did you see this coming? I did not. I mean... I thought he was going to pick Peacemaker a Yo, lot sooner. Can you ask, I thought Mighty uh, Unjust would ask Unjust if he wants an uh, uh, interview? We got to interview him. Yo, Mighty Unjust, you want to hop into Discord? And, tell, and, him to, and, tell him to join uh, COTR General. We're going to give him a post-finale post, post -finale interview. If you, if you want to talk or if you want to do a little interview, I want to talk to him. Post -finale, just join the uh, the Champions Realm General chat in our Discord, and we'll, uh, we'll throw you in here. Tell him I want to talk to him. Man, I mean, you got to give it up, though, to King Gambler as well. Played his heart out, did extremely well throughout this entire tournament, had an incredible loser's run. He defeated Mighty Unjust's brother to make it all the way into that grand finals. He had an incredible set against Bandinos where he popped off in that final round of game five. But it just wasn't enough, unfortunately, when he went up well, against yo, Mighty can, Unjust. Can I spill the beans, bro? Maker. Because I, I want to I wanna put it in the spotlight. Can, can I spill the beans real quick? What's up? So before we actually ran this tournament, I asked Caboose, I said, yo, who do you think is winning this whole thing? And Caboose <laughs> nailed it on the head. He nailed it on the head. And I'm going to be real with you. That was a tough prediction because a bracket this stacked, every single one of these players had to win an entire qualifier to get to this position, yep. to this finale. For sure. And I asked Caboose, I said, bro, who do you think is taking this? And he said, the mighty unjust. And look at that. The Mighty Unjust is going to be... I agree with the chat that says, so give Caboose the prize money then. I think that's right. I think that's only fair. You want the prize money? I think that's only fair. You're going to have to twerk for it. I mean, work, <laughs> work. Sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> I meant work. I meant work. Work, yeah, right. My, my bad. All right, what, what's the status with... Uh, uh, I don't know. Is Mighty, is Mighty Unjust in the chat? With the Mighty, Mighty Pine Unjust, we want to we wanna get you on the mic. If he doesn't get on the mic, he don't get the prize money. <laughs> You heard that, Mighty Unjust? <laughs> you know, listen, first player to join the post-game interview gets the prize money. <laughs> nah. Yo, Unjust, join the card real quick. Mighty Unjust is hitting exclamation point match arena right now. <laughs> he's ready to get paid. He's trying to look. Yeah, he's trying to look at the prize pool. He's ready right to now. get paid, man. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Yo, Mighty Unjust, join the uh, join the general chat in the Discord. We want to interview you, bro. Hold on, I had to switch the scene because I don't, I don't think You're I can. You're a stupid idiot. No, because I can't have you on the screen at the same time. All right, we'll give him like one, literally one more minute to see what the, his take on it if is. If he doesn't want to, then just like, just let us know if you don't want to. Nah, he'd rather just ignore us. I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh my God, he still doesn't know what's going on. Type it to him. I don't think he's listening to the stream. Wait, why did Ludi join? Is that him? I'm so confused. Caboose, why is Ludi? What's this guy Ludi what? doing? <laughs> is that the real one? I'm so confused. What's this guy Ludi doing? All right, jo jo All right he joined. He joined. Join the yeah. Ludi. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yo, yo, mighty. Yeah. How you feeling? Pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I Joey. That Joey is legitimately my tournament demon. He has really? killed me. Oh my god. Like that, that's. I'm gonna be honest. Only reason why I beat him was because he was in Brazil and oh, oh, he, he didn't laugh the character. 100. percent I'm was, just being honest. It was unjust versus G gambler, not Ben yeah. Gino's. Oh shoot. <laughs> Yo, uh, mighty though. I gotta ask you, were you were you keeping that peacemaker in your back pocket for the grant? Like, were you waiting? Again, yeah. Like the fact that he was in Brazil the whole time, like I knew he didn't know the matchup. So wow. it's like, well, it's like why would I not take that? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
Wow. This guy's playing 40 uh, chess. That... Again, he's been my tournament. He's. I, I can't even tell you. He I knew the it, match up. Like, Bro, it's, it's like genius what to... he did. No, 100%. Like, like I, 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 he's so stupidly up on me. Like, it's not even, it's like, it's not even That's funny. Crazy. Wow. That's crazy. Well, I, I got to ask, you know, I wanted to get you, uh, get you in here, not only to congratulate on your big win here, but I want to hear it from a, from a top player, a season two finale winner. How do you feel about the uh, the new patch that just dropped for Mortal Kombat 1? Do you think it's going to shake up the meta? Do you think these characters that are, uh, they got a little slap on their wrist are still going to be thriving? What's your thoughts on this latest patch? I know a lot of people complaining about it. I think it was a good patch, personally. Okay. Um, the fact that... A stupid idiot. He called me, you know what, I'm taking the prize pool. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing that I think should change is Raiden. He, like, he's the only character. That's, he's the most like uninteractive character ever. Uh -huh. um, I think the striker change was good. Um, it's still good. You just can't. Cause when I was, I played Pulse today, and like, I realized I'm like, damn, I can't play like as much as an idiot as I used to with the like, striker grenades anymore. Uh, like, I did, like, what, um, what, what would be one big nerf or, or, or buff that you'd want to see for the game? Um, definitely more, like, add more moves for cameos, like, I'm again, the game, the game is what, like, what, like, six, seven months, and then, again, like, from what I know, people love to complain about shit, bro, it's like, including myself, bro, I, I understand that, <laughs> but, like, bro, like, the game's only six months old, like, I'll take this game over MK11 any day of the fucking week. Day. That I agree 100%. 100%. The game, the game is still like new. Obviously, if other fighting games have like all this other shit, but like, you just gotta, you just gotta give it time, bro. Um, in terms of like balance, I think every character is really. I don't think there's any bad character in this game. Oh. Um, I mean, no, you, you got a point. Because honestly, the more as time goes on, you start seeing these these top these top players utilizing characters like Scorpion or, or Sub-Zero like we saw in the Brazil comps. So you're right about that too, man. That's just Chameleon. Like, Chameleon is like... I, I think she should stay exactly the way she is. Everything is fine with her. The only thing I would get rid of is the, is the wake-up ball roll. That's the only thing I would get rid of. Everything else is fine. Well, there you have it. Damn. There you have it. Yo, Unjust, congratulations, man. Insane stuff. We hope to see you, uh, see you in Champions of the Realm Season 3. Wait, 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 wait. wait. One whoa, more question whoa. before we let you go. <laughs> One more question before we let you go. What's up? Who's the biggest stupid idiot, me or Destroyer? Wow. No comment. What? <laughs> <laughs> he said we're both stupid idiots. <laughs> you heard that? Nah, you put him in the spot. <laughs> I mean, but hey, listen, congratulations again. Big shout out to everybody that competed. You're going to be getting a fat bag, Mighty Unjust, 50% of the prize pool. So that's a, that's a good night. Good night to close everything yeah, out that's, on. that's like $2,300 in his pocket. We're going to break it all down for the competitors after the stream is over. Destroyer, what an incredible season two, man. Unbelievable stuff from everybody each and every week. Both the competitors, you on the mic, and as well the people at home watching for the support that they have shown for myself, for you, for the tournament hey, as a whole. Hey, look, Ninja Killer in the chat said, bro, does Unjust deserve Whoa. that money? Do something about a season three. Season three, Do yo, Ninja Killer, three. I was in his chat. I was in his chat. He said he's gonna pull up season three with his own peacemaker. I'm holding you to it, Ninja Killer. I better see you in there on season three, man. I better see you in there. Wait, 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 Mighty Unjust said get him back in the call for two. Hold on, hold on. What do you got to say, Mighty? This has nothing to do with MK. I hope the fucking Hell Divers devs are listening. Oh Revert my God. these <laughs> bro. Get, the this guy out of here. get, get him out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He's talking about Hell Divers. <laughs> you stupid idiot. Yo. All right. Yo. Yeah, well, Destroyer, take us away, man. That was such a good top eight. It was such a good eight weeks of competition. We, we're definitely going to be back with season three, man. And we're really looking forward to hopefully a bright future ahead for Mortal Kombat yes, 1. Yes, a bright future for, for everything, you know? And, but yeah, I mean, that just about does it. I want to say thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in today. It's been one hell of a top eight finale. And season three, we'll get it started pretty soon. Um, We got, when, when does Janet Cage come out? The 20th? Oh, yeah, that's right. Pretty soon here, right? Is it on the 20th or the 17th or something like that? Let me search this up. Uh, 
let's see. I don't know if we have uh what well, we should have a release date. I just can't remember when it was. But it's definitely this month. Has anyone yeah. in the chat got the answer for that? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. But anyways, what I'm going to say is I definitely want to get COTR Season 2 started up like maybe a, a week or so after uh, Janet Jackson pulls up. And yeah, I mean, I want to see how, how she definitely shakes up the meta because we saw the Chameleon cameo was insane. And it kind of looks uh, there's like... There's a lot of hype surrounding Janet Cage right now. Yeah. Especially like considering okay. people are saying like it's, it's like having Sento for right. everybody. Basically. Also, like, I don't know if you saw, but... I know a lot of people don't like talking about leaks and everything, but apparently Janet Cage was early access for. Uh, I heard that that, that was she a was glitch. early access in the in one yes. of the towers, and yes. bro, you can get corner combos mid screen. I don't know if you saw that. You can get corner I didn't, combos I mid seen, screen. I, I, heard, I heard that she was accidentally like because they did this with Tremor too. I remember where like you could play as Tremor like early by accident. So I think yeah, that ended up happening with Janet Cage as well. Listen, I'm looking forward to seeing what the community is going to do with that cameo. I'm hoping that if for nothing else, if we're not going to see bust for some of the cameo characters you don't see a lot of play from, I'm hoping that the combat pack cameo characters are all like so good, maybe outside of Tremor, that it's like it just adds a ton of variety to the game because Chameleon definitely shook up the meta quite a bit. And I'm wondering if Janet Cage is going to do the same thing. I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully, again, like we said, we're all just hoping for a brighter future ahead for Mortal Kombat 1, especially for us running tournaments. We're really looking forward to seeing crossplay being added to King of the Hill. We hope it runs smooth so that we can run some massive tournaments for you guys in the future. We're definitely going to get rolling with Season 3 as soon as possible. Me and Destroyer are going to try and lock down some dates and get it rolling for you guys. But man, what a Season 2 this was, Destroyer. Yeah. It was incredibly hype. Each and every week, you guys brought the thunder. And as always, I just want to give the biggest shout outs to you, Caboose. Always holding it down on the mic with me, bro. You are a legend, and I wouldn't want to have any other co-host but you. Also, massive shout outs to the That's channel. right. I hate Mr. Aquaman and Tops. Yet. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean I didn't mean it like that, but you know what I'm saying. We, we got some good synergy yes, yes, going yes, on. I, got you, I, got I you. also want to say massive shout outs to Taro Temptress, aka SM Howard, aka PP und Kaki Kaka Pipi Land, for running each and every week very smooth. And big shout out to the contributors of the tournament. Is the Macharino still at that so number? So our Macharino, I think we are locked at uh, $4,615. $4, it's a, $4, it's a fat look, prize pool. If we look at the top contributors right now, Skeptum donated a total of $2,855. We've had some prize pools Yo. in the past for like MK11, MKX that were less than that total. <laughs> so Skeptum, thank you so much for the incredible contributions. Double Knives donated almost $500 himself. Hawk OD with $380. And a ton of you other guys. Blaine Tiger with $30 today. Bryant with $100. Unlucky Robot dropped 200. Odin Sama, the sponsor of the tournament, dropped 150. You guys have been incredible with the support that you showed to the Macharino, to our tournament, to our channels. You know, 25 gifted in the chat tonight to Destroyer's channel incredible incredible stuff we really could not appreciate you guys enough and big shout out to you as well destroyer locking it down on the mics with me as well and then as well with the production you're always holding it down behind the scenes running an incredible show for the people at home all right well that just about does it you got anything to say bro i'm ready to get out of here that's it thank you guys all for tuning in we had a blast throughout this last two months commentating with you guys and we will be back very soon for season three but until then, Destroyer is definitely going to be running some Champions of the Realms arenas. You can watch out for that. And he's probably going to be playing some more Hell Divers. Keep it locked to his channel. Make sure you're following. Make sure you got his notifications on. I'm also going to be streaming here and there. You know, we got some updates coming up for Suicide Squad later this month. I might be streaming a little bit of that. And maybe I'm going to be streaming some Peacemaker, you know, because I kind of like playing as that character quite a bit online. I've been doing all right in the combat league, you know? Um, but hey, check it out on my channel. You can check me out twitch.tv slash caboose. Make sure you're following Destroyer right here. I've been Caboose. That's my boy, Destroyer. Stay safe out there, everybody. Peace out. Hey, just coming back to let you guys know, if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor, slap that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, we live stream on Twitch just about every day, so come and say hi.